Hello guys, good afternoon, good morning, good evening all over the world. Okay, so welcome back to our YouTube channel. So this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you want, wherever you are watching right now. So we will uh, demonstrate uh, the new future or the new framework, that means seven framework and uh, enhancement new future of the minimal api so we'll start up by showing you a demonstration start our visual studio 2022 i will create a project of course the, this will be our api so with api c sharp and then we just click next and we just name our project name minimal demo for API. So same with the solution name and it's great next. Right guys, as you can see the framework, we have now the .NET 7 standard term support. So this is not long term support yet, but you have a lot of option. By the way, if you have not installed the Visual Studio 2022, you can download it and uninstall it on your machine. So we have .NET 6 long term support. That's what we're using a previous demo, but now we have the standard term support, which is currently on developing a uh, release. It's not actually a long term support, or it's still standard. So there are lots of improvements to be done yet. So that is not not seven. And authentication type we just chose none for now because this is just a simple demo. And of course, uh, this one. Use controller and check this to use minimal API. So we are demonstrating minimal API. So we have to uncheck this. If you are going to check it, it's just the same with the regular API before that you can have the controller where you can uh, create your API endpoint. Okay. Of course, we enable a OPI open support. So that's how we we fire up or we browse the API endpoint and see the result. So you, know, you don't need to use the, the uh, what, uh, I forgot the name that this allow you to open our API, but actually it's in my desktop. Uh, Postman, that's Postman. <laughs> Why I can easily forget that I've been using Postman for how many years? It's great. Okay, so as you can see, guys, this is our... The result of our project so here as you can see the project has a minimal folders minimal files that is why it's called minimal api okay so you don't need a lot of resources for you to fire up the api or endpoint so to demonstrate the difference between minimal api and the regular api i will create another project here and i will use uh, add new project, uh, instead of API, but this time it will be a regular API, so we can see the project name, regular API. Okay. It's great mix. And of course, to use uh, regular API, we have to take this one, uh, then let's create. Okay, so guys, you can see the difference now in my screen. And the regular API demo, you have the weather forecast file, program that says, of course, the controller, but in your minimal, there's no controller. Okay, that's one thing that's minimal doesn't have. So minimal is meaning very small files and you can fire up your API already. So you don't need the controllers, you don't need the actually in the minimal API, you have also the app setting the season and the same with in our regular API. And of course uh, the program that see is everything now is here. So yeah, you have your uh, you can see here this is the summary for the weather forecast, and this is how you get the in point up the map gate then the weather forecast and then this is the one so later on we will have to discuss it 
So it's all in the program that C is. But in the regular API, you have the model separate with the forecast. And the program C is as no, it's just basic. And where is the part is the weather forecast controller is here. So you can see there's an API controller attribute. Okay, so let's let's run it first. Uh, so we can save both files. We can uh, run it multiple. Minimal API start and regular API start and OK and let's run. So, okay, guys, we have two browser here. This one is the regular API. And this one is the minimal API. So, as you can see, they are just the same. You have the weather forecast. And this one is not name, it's just minimal API. But if you require this one, you try it out and then execute. You can get the list of the this one, uh, the list of the summary that is being stored there as a list. As well as the minimal API, you can also fire it up and the same output. Right, so the same output. Okay, so what the difference is that in the minimal API is the files are minimal. Okay, so that's the difference. So you don't have to have the controller of it if you want an easy or very uh, startup or I mean minimal that you can have the endpoint to fire up. You can just just use the minimal API. So that's the new improvement. That's the that's the comparison. So I will remove this project now because we will not be using it anymore. It's just for you to see the comparison. So, where's the remove? Uh, remove. Alright, so we are now in the minimal API. We will focus from here. So, the program C is, guys, so as you can see here, uh, of course, we have the variable builder, we have application that we builder. And this is how you inject your services configuration. For example, the Swagger UI is already injected here. And configuration of this typical request pipeline, use Swagger, use Swagger UI. And the CTP direction. And this is uh, the weather forecast that we displayed earlier. So you just have a summary inside the, the list of summary, the array of summary inside the program that says you are going to get the endpoint if you just fire up the app that map gate and then the endpoint that you produce for example this is the name with the forecast and then it's a lambda expression your array and labyrinth this is your uh, function or so you're going to display the result and the minimal api will also with the with name that is the name we will get with the forecast in all the api so this is and then when you run, of course, this is the it's the function, internet function. So that's basically how the minimal API works. And there are lots of things that we can do. For example, uh, yeah, because uh, we delete this and we will create our new sample, for example. So we will not need to have this. Uh, Okay. So, we'll it. so we have no API now. So when you run it, uh, uh, I mean, it, because the project is still in. Uh, 
Although I removed it already. But I have to single start up. <clears throat> so yeah, no operation defined in the speak. So it means to have you are not defined in the endpoint. Okay guys, so that's the very basic uh Okay, we'll start a demo. Uh, well, so it's already here. Um, uh, you can see there's a map. Yeah. So this is a request. Um, this would be, for example, your Uh, API has, has no what's that? API your endpoint how come it's a hello world hello world and then This is your minimal API endpoint, for example, API, and then hello world, and then you have to proceed, and then you can pass the parameter here if you want, but the sample, you can just display a lambda and the result, for example, if you see hello world, as an example, let's see if it works. Yeah. See, this is your swagger. Here's the API Hello World. I will try it out. It will give us the value that we put with this Hello World. Alright, so guys, you can see the output now is Hello World. So it's a code response 400. So that's basically a uh, very simple, so minimal if you can just easily put like that. All right, uh, that's a very simple. For example, uh, this is git, uh, for example, we post. So we can also have uh, map, game, yeah, map, post. So it is fast, post, put, like that, delete, so we post, for example. And then, um, our EBI endpoint is API, and then let's say hello world again. Hello world 2, what is hello world? And then, of course, then the value would be plus uh, hello world 2. <laughs> hello world 2, so let's just see if we can this. And let's try to run it. So see guys, you have, uh, this is for get and this is post, so we'll try it out and we need to execute, alright, you have uh, success, put 200 and that's the response body is zero world 2, so that's very minimal and then you can have your endpoint already in API, right guys, so that's basically what uh, minimal API. So there are lots of improvement in that mid seven. So we need to go further, study further, demonstrate it. Once I learn also, I will share it to you. But for now, this is just the basic and introduction of what is a minimal API. All right, guys. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. So in the next upcoming video, we can learn something different about the minimal API that can use or that can connect to our uh, model or a database that we can query a list of data in database, we can insert in the database and we can uh, remove resources in the database. So why for now guys have been learning. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you will be notified 
there will be lots of tutorial and upcoming this for now tinggal just relax and bye bye have learning